Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate a holy bishop, St. Martin of Tours. We ask our Lord Jesus Christ that like him, we might also encounter our Lord in the midst of our brothers and sisters. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. In wisdom is a spirit, intelligent, holy, unique, manifold, subtle, agile, clear, unstained, certain, not baneful, loving the good, keen, unhampered, beneficent, kindly, firm, secure, tranquil, all-powerful, all-seeing, and pervading all spirits, though they be intelligent, pure, and very subtle. For wisdom is mobile beyond all motion, and she penetrates and pervades all things by reason of her purity. For she is an aura of the might of God, and a pure effusion of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, not that is solid enters into her. For she is the refulgence of eternal light, the spotless mirror of the power of God, the image of His goodness. And she who is one can do all things, and renews everything while herself perduring. And passing into holy souls from age to age, she produces friends of God and prophets. For there is not God loves, be it not one who dwells with wisdom. For she is fairer than the sun and surpasses every constellation of the stars. Compared to light, she takes precedence, for that indeed night supplants, but wickedness prevails not over wisdom. Indeed, she reaches from end to end mightily and governs all things well. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your Word is forever, O Lord. Your word is forever, O Lord. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Your word is forever, O Lord. Through all generations, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. Your word is forever, O Lord. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Your word is forever, O Lord. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Your word is forever, O Lord. Let my soul lead to praise you, and may your ordinances help me. Your word is forever, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I wait for the my soul waits for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, Look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, 
The days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off. Do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today, our Lord teaches us how we gain wisdom. For many people, wisdom is equated to accomplishments. Marami po sa atin na ang tinatawag ang isang tao na marunong kapag marami na siyang nagawa, marami na siyang naaral, marami na siyang naisulat. But God today teaches us that wisdom is not primarily an accomplishment of man, but wisdom is a gift from God. Ang karunungan ng isang tao ay hindi lamang masusukat sa kanyang mga natapos, sa kanyang mga inaral, sa kanyang mga nagawa, sa kanyang sariling kakayanan, kundi ang karunungan ng tao ay makikita kapag sa gitna ng mga natapos mo, ay kaya mo pa rin makinig sa Diyos. Wisdom is being able to listen to God in the midst of our accomplishments and achievements. Madalas po mga kapatid, kapag tayo ay mayroong natapos, kapag tayo ay mayroong isang kakayahan, kapag tayo ay mayroong isang success na nagawa, ang tanong sa ating mga sarili ay, kaya pa ba nating makinig sa Diyos? Are we still able to listen to God in the midst of our achievements? Or do we look up to ourselves and we only listen to our own achievements, to our own capabilities. In the first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, the first reading teaches us about this, that wisdom comes from God, and it is a gift from God given into our hearts so that whatever we may encounter, whatever we may see, whatever we may experience, wisdom dwells in us. It is not our own work. It is not our own achievement. Wisdom comes from God. And Jesus reminds us of this in our gospel reading today when Jesus was teaching the Pharisees and his disciples about the kingdom of God. Jesus said, People will teach you, Look, here it is. Look, there it is. But Jesus said, The kingdom of God is not there or not here. The kingdom of God is inside you. And you just need to listen to the presence of God inside you. That 
is true wisdom. Sabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad na ang karunungan ay maaaring marinig natin sa ibang tao, maaaring ituro sa atin ng ibang tao. Pero sabi ni Jesus, ang tunay na kaharian ng Diyos ay nasa loob ninyo. At kinakailangang makinig tayo sa salita ng Diyos sapagkat ang karunungan ay ipinagkaloob sa ating mga kalooban. My dear brothers and sisters, wisdom is being able to listen to God. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we also celebrate St. Martin of Tours. He was the bishop of that place in France, in Tours. He was chosen by the people to be their bishop. Not because of his intelligence, not because of his accomplishments, not even because he is full of capabilities. He was chosen by the people to become their bishop because they saw St. Martin as a holy man, a man who is able to listen to God. And for the people, they saw wisdom in St. Martin, not because of his titles, but because he was holy. He was able to listen to God always. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us ask for that gift, the gift of wisdom. And wisdom can never be accomplished by any man apart from God. Sana po ngayong araw, mga kapatid, ito po ang hilingin natin sa Panginoon, ang biyaya ng karunungan. At ang karunungan ay matatamo lamang natin, hindi lamang sa sarili nating kakayahan o pag-aaral, kundi matatamo natin ng karunungan kapag tayo ay marunong makinig sa Diyos. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with the fullest trust to the Lord of life who waits for us at the end of life's road. For every petition, let us say, May your kingdom be among us, Lord. May your kingdom be among us, Lord. That the church may constantly prepare the people to welcome Christ when He returns, let us pray to the Lord. May, may your, your kingdom, kingdom be, be among, among us, us, Lord. Lord that by their commitment to justice and peace, Christians may bring all people together in faith and hope and prepare them for the final coming of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your kingdom, kingdom be among us, Lord. That tragedies caused by nature or human cruelty may not distract us or weaken our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your kingdom, kingdom be among us, Lord. That the sick may accept Jesus in their hearts and see him present in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. May, may your kingdom, kingdom be among us, Lord. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your kingdom, kingdom be among us, Lord. Heavenly Father, you are always near to us. You know our needs better than we do. Help us to be always aware of your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed whether in tribulation or in prosperity through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Laging tapat at laging tutok, dahil ito handa kami, Panginoon.